Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Catherine, the creator of The Content Bug, and I'm here to help you follow your passion by growing your audience online. And today we're gonna talk about keyword research. Now, the idea for this video actually came about a few months ago when I had someone that bought the Blog Hustler ebook. They reached out to me asking a few questions. I answered their questions and I asked for a little bit of feedback on the book. And one of the things that they said that they really liked about the book is how I provide free alternatives to other paid products that you can get. So it's like for any beginner that doesn't wanna waste all of their money, doesn't have money to invest in their blog right now, I give them free options. And the specific example that she brought up was keyword research, how I offered them free alternatives to SEMrush and Keyword Finder. Instead of saying, hey, you really need these platforms to start your keyword research. No, if you're a beginner to keyword research, you can start on Google and you can start on Pinterest. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. So I thought this would be a great thing to provide you guys here on YouTube for free. If you want more information on the Blog Hustler ebook, you can go ahead and check that out in the description bar down below. But let's go ahead and jump to my computer. If you've never heard of SEM Rush before or Keyword Finder, I just wanted to show you what they are. If you sign up for SEM Rush, you can actually sign up uh, for just a free account with them, and then you get 10 searches. I have already done that before, so I can't show you what it looks like, sadly, but you can go ahead and do that with any SEM Rush, and it is free. Now, within Keyword Finder, you get, I think, five searches every 24 hours within Keyword Finder, so you can use this. It is just keywordfinder.com if you want to check that out. And then right here, you just type in the keyword. So let's say that you're a photographer. So I'm going to type in photography tips and I'm going to find keywords. And right within Keyword Finder over here, this is where your keyword research is going to begin. Now you do only have, I think it's five searches within 24 hours. So you want to make sure that your searches are specific and to the point and the ones that you actually want to search for. But this is a great place to start your keyword research and you want to look for long tail keywords. So you want to make sure that you are looking for keywords that are three words or more. So I started with photography tips, hoping that more keywords would pop up with more words added to them. So you can go ahead and start for free within Keyword Finder. But what I really want to show you is just how to perform keyword research on Google. So let me exit out of these. So within Google, you know when you type something in here that it pops up with other recommendations. So let's say if I type in photography tips, what is going to pop up below it is going to be all other keywords that other people are searching for. These are the most popular searches. That's how they come up with this. So let's say photography tips for Instagram. It's gonna come up with all these blog posts that include different keywords that you can actually take any of these keywords because you know that they are actually performing well on Google when in relation to photography tips for Instagram. But let's say you wanna break it out even more than that. Google is gonna to continue to come up with other relevant keywords for you right here at the top. And this is the basics of just performing keyword research is learning, okay, what are people already typing into Google? That is what you wanna do with your keyword research. See what people are searching for, include it in your content, appear on Google. That is the goal there. So whenever you perform your keyword research, what I recommend doing is actually creating a spreadsheet and you wanna copy and paste some of these different ideas. Um, so let's say Instagram account, let's see what else pops up. Best photographers on Instagram, maybe some of that wouldn't actually be relevant. Um, but some of these go way off of this. So I started out with photography tips. Down here, these aren't even including photography tips. These are just focused on Instagram. So depends how far out uh, what is going to appear for you. But you just want to start with the basics here on Google. You know that you can enter as many searches as you want. Copy and paste some of these into a file hold on to them and then start incorporating them within your blog posts. Now, if you want to start to appear on Pinterest, I do have Pinterest related videos talking about how you can perform keyword research on Pinterest, actually two ways to do it, one within the ads platform and one right up here. But just like Google, you would type in here whatever you want to talk about and it's going to appear right here with the next recommendations based off of that. If you just click on photography tips, Right up at the top, this is going to come up with other keywords that are included in searches in addition to photography tips. So you can say a top photography tips for beginners, and then let's see if it'll give you more photography tips on your iPhone. And you can make this sound better than what it gives you right up here. So photography tips for beginners iPhone doesn't really make that much sense, but you can rearrange this and just know that that is a relevant keyword that people are actually searching Pinterest for. Pretty easy, right? I mean, just going to Google and going to Pinterest, you can figure out what the keywords are. The only negative there is you don't really have the numbers. You can use the Pinterest ads platform if you want the numbers on Pinterest. And you can always use Keyword Finder for free daily if you do want access to those numbers. Otherwise, I say shoot for those long tail keywords and you will start to improve your SEO very soon. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys back here in another video here soon. Oh, and before you go, if you have any other ideas on videos that you would like to see, tech related 
stuff, SEO related stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. I shoot SEO videos I feel like very infrequently. It's like one every other month. So if there are specific SEO questions you have or other technical questions you have, please let me know and I will create those videos for you. Otherwise, that is it for me and I will see you guys back here soon. Bye guys.